The once mighty Steinhoff is an African company that grew into a multinational business with interest in Western Europe. Steinhoff is listed on both the Johannesburg Stock Exchange and Frankfurt Stock Exchange. Disaster struck in December of 2017 when the accounting irregularities at the company surfaced, sending the share price nose diving. This led to a number of investors suffering huge losses. Amongst the least was the Public Investment Corporation, which invested millions of government employee pension funds, and the former chairman, Christo Wiese. Steinhoff share price plunged over 90% after revelations of accounting irregularities on the 5th of December 2017. Shortly after this, CEO Marcus Euste resigned with immediate effect. Speaking to SABC News, former chair of Steinhoff, Christo Wiese, said the perpetrators of this fraud managed to hide from authorities and experts for a long time. If you consider that the perpetrators of this fraud for a period of at least a decade managed to hide the fraud from the internal auditors of the company, from the statutory auditors of the company, from the component auditors, from the regulators, from the ratings agencies, from the banks, from the institutions that lent Steinhoff tens of billions of rands. Yeah. Then one should have some idea of how cleverly this fraud was constructed. Here at home, the South African Reserve Bank has attached over a billion rand in assets linked to former Steinhoff International CEO Marcus Yuste. This was after the Western Cape High Court granted the Reserve Bank an application to attach all assets linked to Yuste. The assets, estimated at 1.4 billion rand, include a house, a wine farm, and other valuable possessions held in a trust. The matter is linked to a case of an alleged contravention of exchange controls regulations against Yuste. At the time when the attachment happened, it was announced that Yuste and two former Steinhoff executives, as well as the fourth accused person charged with balance sheet fraud that occurred between 2011 and 2015, would soon appear in court. Gloria Safakumusi, SABC News, Johannesburg.